you're a busy man. I'm glad you found your way back. And it's good of you to stop by today, Mr. President, if only for a short visit. It lets us know that New Orleans still has your heart. Half of our people are not home. Charity Hospital is still closed, with people dying down here for lack of medical care. And yes, I know we're only five months away from the next hurricane season, with our flood control still in a state of half-acidness. Hey, what can we expect? We're not the Dutch, who keep half their country out of the North Sea as a matter of routine. We're just Americans, doing the best we can manage. But I digress. <clears throat> what I mean to say, Mr. President, is that I continue to believe in the better angel of your nature. The one who, a few days after the storm, stood in front of a floodlit Jackson Square and promised to rebuild the Gulf Coast. So let me banish from my mind the image of you lightly joking about the high times you spent here in our city as a youth while bodies floated in our streets. And far be it from me with all my excesses and impulses to judge you for a few untethered, unfocused words. All will be forgiven, Mr. President, if you just simply take a moment, as I often do, and watch yourself in Jackson Square and listen to those stirring words. And then keep your fucking promise. <laughs>